As an entrepreneur, business leader, or senior manager, it's critical and important that you master this skill. And this is to be able to delegate effectively. Effective delegation is critical to your success as an individual and also the success of your organization and company. You cannot do everything. Everything cannot be left on your shoulders. There'll be a time where you get tired, you are going to be fatigued, you're not gonna have enough time in the day to be able to get everything done. And it's gonna be critical for you to delegate the non-essential things um, of your role. So today I wanna to cover a couple of major mistakes that most business leaders do when they try to delegate activities and tasks. So the first mistake, and that is to delegate, not delegate the right things. Simple one, right? You, you delegate uh, things that you tend to usually not like or dislike, but some of those things are critical and important to your role. So you can't just say, well, I don't like doing that and, I, and I'm gonna give someone, get someone else to do it. So it's important to really zero in on what is it exactly that you need to delegate. The second thing as well that business leaders tend to make mistakes with is the difference between delegating and actually training someone. So you pass on something, uh, an activity or a task to one of your staff members and then at the same time, you're constantly training them. You're actually you know, going through the whole motions with them, not giving them the autonomy and giving them the responsibility to try and work through it themselves. You are actually help, you know, helping them do their job. So that's actually unproductive, not only for yourself, but then also for, the for your staff member, because it's both of you at the same time working on a particular activity and task. So you know, unproductive for both of you. The third one, this is a big one as well that most people, uh, most business leaders make mistakes with, is giving vague instructions. So you basically just say, hey, go off and do this without actually giving detail or um, you know, sharing critical information with the staff member to ensure that they get that right. So a couple of problems with that is, you're gonna have the, the, the results that your staff member is gonna come back with when they complete that task might not be at the standard or at the level that you're after. They might go away and do it wrong use the wrong resources. So it's important to ensure that you give really clear, concise, uh, where, where necessary detailed instructions on how to actually complete an activity or task that you share with them or you delegate out to them. Another one that's also just as critical and important is delegating to the wrong people, right? So you might think that this person is uh, skilled in a particular area and, and share and delegate an activity with them, but it turns out that they are the wrong person for it. Either they've got too much already on their plate or they may not have the expertise or the skill set or the knowledge uh, to complete the activity and task. So as you can see here already, delegation is a skill and it's an art and you need to, you need to know the skills and the strengths of your team members and you also need to be very specific about the, the uh, items and the tasks that you are delegating and also give clear instructions on how to do it. A few more mistakes that uh, business leaders make when delegating out is not monitoring or just checking in sometimes with you know the staff member that they've delegated the activity to. So sometimes you don't like I said at the beginning you don't need to hold their hand through uh, completing the activity but sometimes you need to monitor and just check in with them. How are they going? Are they doing it correctly? Are they having any challenges or any problems? Do they need any assistance? Um, and sometimes by checking in with them as well, you might realize that in future, they are the right person to do this activity. And sometimes they might surprise you and they might be able to do it more effectively, more efficiently than you are doing. So, you know, it's important as well to regularly just check in and monitor how they are going with that as well. Um, Lastly, I want to share with you one of the last mistakes in that, uh, that people make as well is they expect perfection, right? So you go away and you, you delegate something out and you feel good and you know that, you know, if you'd done it, you'd be able to do a good job. But if you're not choosing the right person, you're not monitoring them, you're not providing the right, um, uh, des uh, the, you know, descriptions and, and, and details of what needs to be done. And then you expect them to come back and deliver 
this perfect, this great project or, you know, the, the task, you know, execution on the task is perfect. Well, you know, that's, you know, you, you're setting yourself up for failure and you're setting up the staff member to fail as well. So don't expect perfection, especially if you are not providing the right support and resources to be able to complete that activity effectively and efficiently as well. So ultimately, delegation is a superpower for business leaders, entrepreneurs to be able to delegate your task, free your time up because your time is more valuable than doing, you know, smaller, menial, uh, less important tasks, sharing those tasks and delegating those tasks with your team members, but ensuring that you have a process, you have, uh, you're sharing the right uh, details, specifics about it, the right resources, constantly checking in with them to ensure that they uh, are following your instructions and also they're not having any challenges and problems, will ensure that the task gets done in uh, an effective manner. You can focus on what's important. You can focus on working on your business and I shared that in a previous blog video as well. So go out and watch that one on how to work on your business and stop working in the business. Delegation is a big part of being able to do so and then you know ensuring that your team is working effectively as well. Lastly, I want to share with you and introduce you again to the EOS process or the EOS system. EOS stands for the Entrepreneurial Operating System and all it is is a set of simple, practical, real-world concepts and tools that allows you to transform your business into an unstoppable one. So hit the, bottom, the button below to schedule a call and I look forward to speaking with you soon.